Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of that celebrity interview. Good morning, Tay Diggs. Welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. As I talk to people who are quarantined, stay at home, stuck at home, all over the United States. How are you? I'm well. Thank you for having me. I'm glad to hear that you're well, and I wish that for you and all the people that surround you. I want my audience to know I'm talking to mm. Tay Diggs. You guys keep telling me how <laughs> Stella got her groove. We've moved on from that, but I'm sure that's part of his resume. He's doing great and wonderful things. Tay, my audience is stuck in the past. They say they loved you on how Stella got her groove. Do you still co do well, you I'm are you still confronted with that? Sure, sure. That's that was my first one, but that's a that's an oldie but a goodie. Well, they think the it was a goodie, that keeps obviously. On giving. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Tell me what you're up to today, because I know you're a father now. you you've got an illustrious career. What do you got for us today? Well, as you said, I'm a father. I got a ten year old kid. Uh, he's very active. Uh, his summer camp uh, was canceled, and even though it was. Uh, it was tough watching how devastated he was. Selfishly, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward and I'm having a great time uh, spending more time with him, which is why this partnership with, uh, with Quaker Chewy makes so much sense. They, uh, they're doing this great thing in recreating the summer camp feeling uh, at home. So it's helping uh, a lot of parents uh, and their kids uh, uh, get through spending all this extra time together and, uh, and keeping fun uh, in summer. Um, all people have to do is go to the website uh, nocampnoproblem.com. Uh, you can sign up for a sweepstakes, uh, possibly win uh, uh, some really cool prizes, but more importantly they give really great tips and, and encourage families to get out there with their children and, um, and keep summer fun. So it's been, it's been great. You know, we set up a little Camp Chewy at our place and one of the new things that we've done uh, we, uh, we wait until it's pitch black, we call them night swims, and we go to our pool, and, uh, and we just float, and we just, uh, we just have really great conversations. It's something that sounds so simple, but it's something I'm really, really grateful for that we otherwise perhaps wouldn't, wouldn't do, but that's something that we, uh, has, be has become a, a regular at, a, at our own Camp Chewy. You know, I started my conversation off as an introduction to you people who are shuttered at home, staying at home, working at home. They're at mm -hmm. home now. And mm -hmm. a lot were kind of mm -hmm. thrown off when they were at home with their kids. What can, a, what can an at-home camp mm -hmm. help these parents with once again? Yeah, it, can give, it just helps in, in recreating that summer camp activity. For us, you know, it, was, it might have been a little bit easier for me in that, you know, I'm active and my son's active, so... It's really easy for us to get outside and play football, play, uh, play basketball. Uh, we play, but then some of the fun new activities, you know, we, we play uh, uh, Would You Rather. We have indoor, indoor pillow fights. Uh, we have these dance-offs. You know, we really encourage people to, you know, come to their, their children's level and uh, kind of see what they're into and, and have that fun together. But uh, what's most important is that, you know, the fun doesn't have to, uh, the fun doesn't have to disappear. And if you just take the time to, uh, to chat with your kid and, and see what their interests are, and you can really have some, uh, some good times. When you're talking about uh, um, being at home with your kid during the summer, what mm -hmm. has the pandemic added to your relationship as a parent? Well, a deepness. Uh, um, it's so easy to get caught up in finding activities for your son to do, uh, for your children to do, away from you. We're, we're really used to kind of sending them on play dates, you know. You know, my son takes uh, basketball lessons and football teams. And, but, uh, but what's really been great is being forced to, to be in one area with him and just getting to know him. Um, you know, you keep hearing that, that uh, your kids grow up in the blink of an eye. Well, you know, in this pandemic, I'm really getting to know him at this age and, uh, and I, it's, a, it's a blessing because he's, he's 10, so he's, he's really starting to find himself. And this is the age where, you know, I think kids can start to, to go more solo. But because we're spending so much time at home together, um, we're still keeping that bond. And that's something that I'm really, really grateful for and that Camp Chewy is, is kind of helping us do. It's kind of like the silver lining 
and all this uh, all this craziness. Well, you're such a busy parent, and that's what most parents have. They've been busy all of this time. What's the next? career thing for you or has the pandemic put a little damper on your career? I've been very fortunate. I know a lot of people are going through some difficult times, but uh, uh, fortunately I've, I've avoided it. Uh, we have a third season of All American coming up. Uh, I'm working on a, on a talk show that's specifically uh, about uh, uh, fathers and their kids. And uh, I got another book coming out, so I'm, uh, I'm staying busy, but, but, uh, but in all that, there's always uh, there's always time for the kid, and I also got to give give props to to my son's mother. You know, she puts uh, that's a ma a major priority for her is making sure that that he's uh, he's well taken care of and that we get to spend uh, a goodly amount of time with him. I thank you so much for saying something nice about your child's mother because you can't love a child without loving his mother. I'm a real big believer of that. I uh, heard that that's what I think. That's what I think. So I, I feel very lucky in that respect. Well, you guys have been listening to Tay Diggs, and Tay, I want to talk just real quickly about your children book. Do you, I heard that you got you just signed a deal for two more books? Yeah, I can I, I have a difficulty keeping track, but that makes sense. Uh, first <laughs> book was called Chocolate Me. Second, Mixed Me. Uh, the third book, uh, I Love You More Than. A fourth one is coming out now called My Friend, uh, and that's about two friends kind of keeping each other on the right path and uh and then uh we're about to ink the deal for for a book that kind of takes a look at at uh at the at the riots and and uh, the uh this this deep look at, at racial uh, equality so uh it's been uh it's 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 been an interesting uh uh a journey and uh, and i'm looking forward to hearing the response Hey, Diggs, you're an interesting actor, and you seem to be an interesting human being. I want to thank you for stopping by and talking about uh, to my parents and giving them some options for the summer. Where can they go online? Uh, NoCampNoProblem.com. Uh, and as I said before, there's a... And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to MyPhonePouch.com. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of The Valder Beebe Show. I have used Credit Help USA, the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and The Valder Beebe Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit CreditHelpTX.com Click on the Valder BB Show icon and get started living life divinely.